Become what life has never thought of you. Change without sacrifice changes nothing at all. Fall. Crawl before you can have it all. Paint your desires on the wall and watch them as they grow tall. When change seems small, learn to give it your all. The harder you go, the closer you become. It is how hard you hit the ground that determines how much you become wise. No matter how hard you fall, you are bound to rise. I was taught by persistence to find a teacher in experience. Drinking from a flowing river of experience. They say life will always offer a second chance. The reason I drink from a flowing river of experience. I seek the rain that used to wet the African soil and nourish the beauty of this land. The rain that used to cheer flowers and farmers as they danced, clapping their hands, welcoming the heavenly graces that favored us. In many ways, for infinite days, in my hands, they are dying to hear me speak. They say to me, Tell the sun to shine brightly over divine words of poetry. Sacrifice blood into the pen that writes poetry. Prophesy before the ear that listens to poetry and poetry. For the reign of salvation has come. Tell a child, guidance has come. Tell Africa to hold on for the reign of unity that dwells far deep in us, the unity that connects us, the unity which is found at the core of our souls, one that opens the ever smiling sun, enlightens our love and tremendously encourage us to rise above the above has come. Tell the struggle to unlock its chains of greed and leave let the moon dance tirelessly to the rain of beat, for the rain of peace has come. The rain that showered to fill hope to the poor, hoping that it will rain to fade away their pains, hoping that this season will bring belief to the heart as the raindrops remind them of the warmth in a summer's hands. These voices in my head opened my eyes and made me realize we forgot who we are. Where is that ocean that opened its arms wide and allowed the children of Israel to walk through from the other side. We want that ocean to make way for us to the past where we can find our true selves very fast. Where is that patience of Rolika Nelson Mandela to tell the world to wait on us, that dignified voice of the rain queen to call the rain upon us. Where is that amplified noise of King Shaka to stop the pain for us? Where is that wisdom of Bigo, Sobukwe, soldiers, kings and queens, my grandmother, to tell the world to wait on us? Thank you. Wow. Uh, yeah, thank you. Uh, it's an honor to I mean, it's a lovely exhibition. Um, and I think Chip Up is someone that I've been following for a while. I mean, I have one painting of his at home. I'm, I love this one. Um, I mean, it, it reminds me of someone that I know, but I really don't know. Um, I can relate to it. And I'm actually happy that there's such a wide selection and that they're all, they're all different in a way. That piece, tell me a bit what you think about that piece. Look, I think that one of Chipapia's strengths is the way in which he uses paint and fabric together. Um, I would like to see that one. I mean, I think it's quite interesting how he seems to have moved since I last saw his body of work to a more um, economic use of, of paint. Mm -hmm. So I like the way in which the, the paint is becoming more gestural and it's working over mm -hmm. the portrait. I think, David, I love this work. This work <coughs> really jumps out at me. And he's done something totally different here. Because here he's done a bit of splashing. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's the only face that is very clear mm. and distinct where you could see the eyes. Mm. And for me, that's very nice. I am so proud of you. Literally, 
um, it's not only portraits, it's uh, textile. It's, um, I see so much color, so, so much beauty in your work. I see women, African women uh, representation. I see it's just so much. Um, one of my favorites is specifically this one because of not only the colors, but I really like how strong, how strong this woman looks. Yo, I've always been inspired by Chipaka's work. It's got that power to bring happiness, grasp life and uh, in particular the one that has moved me is the one that is dedicated to his grandmother which really marks the beginning of all of us. Um, I think he's really talented.